today we will be showcasing one of the richest accounts in adopt me i have been collecting every single item pet and toy in adopt me ever if you want your own mega neon pet leave a like on the video hit the subscribe button and comment down your roblox username also don't forget use star code fishy when buying robux guys i have been working on my mega neon collection and completing every single item in adopt me and i think it's finally time for an updated showcase we're gonna get right into it i'm gonna show you guys what i have right now so i have these gifts right here i actually do have a legendary gift this is like one of the gifts you can get the Christmas X from 2019. So this is kind of rare. So let's go to the toys again. My rarest item is probably the candy cannon. I only have one still. I am going to try and get more candy cannons in the future. This is worth like a neon frost dragon plus add. So having a candy cannon is a pretty huge flex. Then if we keep on going down, we pretty much have a lot of these toys already. The second rarest toy I have is the tombstone, which basically just makes you invisible, which is a pretty cool item, especially when there's people chasing you all the time like this guy behind me is just chasing me so the tombstone is amazing to go invisible with and if you keep on scrolling down on my inventory i don't have that many rare items i guess this is kind of rare the throwing pumpkin and a lot of these items are actually rare they're old items you don't get to see them that often and a lot of people don't have them same with the chinese lantern super old item there's not a lot in the game but they are really cool guys they don't make toys like they used to before like the old toys had really cool effects and yeah i really do prefer like the old toys to the new ones the new toys don't really do anything but that is what we have so far we have some really cool toys and then we have the candy cannon which basically just shoots candy and you can use a candy to get speed which is super super cool all right moving on to the vehicles i haven't done too much with my vehicles since i last uh, showed my vehicles i did get a few new vehicles I gave away a lot of vehicles, but I collected more go-kart vehicles. I had six at one point. I've been training them a little bit, but I am starting to collect go-karts because I feel like they're going to increase in value. The go-karts are easy to control. They're really cool items. I love these cars. So we collected that. Then we have, then we have like the new squirrel cars and the ribcage carriages. A lot of these aren't that rare. One of the items that I did get that was kind of new is the monocycle. This is a rare vehicle as well that not a lot of people have so i'm pretty happy that i got this car and then we have the mono moped another really cool item we pretty much have every single rare vehicle in the game and i, I still feel like the rarest one is probably the bunny carriage for the carriages and i think the rarest vehicle i have might be the ghost vehicle which is amazing the ghost vehicle is really easy to use and it, it looks like a pet for the most part so people love the ghost vehicle so i'm pretty sure the ghost vehicle is the rarest car i have in adopt me all right so after the vehicles we have the food section there's nothing really rare here except the patterns egg which really doesn't do anything you can't even eat it so it's kind of a waste of food but i did use this egg to make like a fake mega pet hatching video which was pretty funny i enjoyed that video and a lot of you guys enjoyed it as well so i guess it's like a rare egg because it wasn't a famous video that got like 2 million views so if you guys want to offer for this egg let me know in the comment sections go into the strollers i think i have every single stroller in adopt me and i have a lot of extras as well i have like three french fry strollers five popsicle strollers two rainbow strollers which i don't think these are rare but I do have a lot of other strollers. I have the airplane stroller, the cauldron stroller. I think this one is really rare. I love how this one looks. I love the effects of this stroller. So this is definitely one of my favorite strollers in the game. I have the Eggbird stroller, which is one of the rarest strollers in the game. This is actually worth like a frost dragon. I got offered one before, so definitely holding on to this. I'm never going to trade that. This was so hard to get. It was like one of the hardest items for me to get. So I'm not trading that ever. Then we have the doghouse stroller, we have a few of those, we have the trike stroller, then we have the vampire stroller, which is another of my favorite strollers, it's so cool, I love how it looks, it's actually so cool, and yeah, I have, I think, every single stroller in Adopt Me, which is amazing, and my favorite, most awesome stroller is this one, the popsicle stroller, I love using this one. I love how I love the colors. I love how festive it is and I just love ice cream So this is definitely my favorite stroller of them all moving on to the pet wear. I don't have that much rare pet wear um, Most of it is pretty common. I guess for the most part um, The only rare pet wear that I believe that is kind of rare is like the Santa hat and the elf hat I do own three elf hats and I think I own one Santa hat so like before guys I still don't collect pet wear. I do get some every now and then 
But again, I feel like the pet word doesn't have that much value, so I don't really collect it. In the future, I would like to collect it, but for now, I don't think I need to. And for the moment of truth that you guys have all been waiting for, I'm going to show you guys my pet collection. So, Adopt Me made a new update where a lot of pets stack. So, I do have a lot of pets. They just don't look as cool anymore because they're all stacked. So, as you guys can see, there's four Tasmanian Tigers here and four Tasmanian Tigers here. We do own two Neon Tasmanian Tigers and a Mega. Then we have the Mega Stingray. We have so many Robins. We have like 18 Robins, a Neon Robin, and a regular Robin. We have some Otters. I actually do have enough otters to make a mega neon otter just i think i need to raise one more yeah i just need to raise one more otter for the mega neon we have a ton of ground sloths doing the math i have about 17 ground sloth and a mega neon ground sloth then we have all these dogs we have two mega dogs a mega chicken this is my favorite pet the chick pet because i feel like not a lot of people can get this pet i don't know if they're ever going to make this pet tradable and honestly i feel bad for anyone that doesn't have the chick pet honestly i feel like it should be tradable but that is my favorite pet of all time so we keep on going up we have some cats we do have a mega cat we have the mega buffalo which is a pretty cool looking pet it's pretty common but it's pretty cool then we have so many bandicoots like i'm looking at this right now it's like 50 bandicoots and then we also have these neon bandicoots and two mega neon bandicoots i know they're not that rare but they're still pretty cool then we have these wolves from christmas eggs and a neon wolf and we have the mega wolf we have some wild boars. I recently got this mega wild boar, which I'm pretty happy about. We keep on scrolling up. We do have a mega triceratops. I, we have a mega stegosaurus. We have so many snowmen. And we even have the mega snowman. So I'm pretty happy about that. We have... I just realized I have three mega snow cats. I didn't even know that. So we do have three mega snow cats and a neon snow cat. And yeah, we are stacked on snow cats. If you guys want any of these snow cats, comment down below that you want a snow cat. I'll take one out. Just because so you guys can see what it looks they look really cool i like the white pets they have a, like a nice color to them then we only have one silly duck and it is a mega silly duck i own absolutely no silly ducks only this mega one which is really funny i love the silly duck i just love the way it hops it's so cool it's so cute so we have that then we go up here we don't really have that many pumas i i believe i might have enough pumas to make a mega and 10 14 i do have enough to make a mega uh, then i do have the neon so it saves me some time then we have some pink cats a mega pink cat and just like the other pet i only have one meerkat and it's a mega meerkat and the mega meerkat looks amazing but just in general the meerkats are amazing pets so i'm really happy that i have at least one and that it is a mega pet so we keep on going up and we have some glyptodons these are two luminous this was a twinkle if I raise some more, I could make a Mega Glyptodon. I just feel like I haven't had the time to make a Mega Glyptodon. But if I wanted to, I could make one. Going up, we have the Mega Bendic Fox, which is another really cool pet. If you guys want to see how that looks, it uh, has a big nose. I like it, though. It's not a bad pet. Then we have the Drakes. I'm pretty sure I have a Mega Drake, but I do have so many Drakes. Like, I have eight, two, two, and then, like, a bunch of singles. And then we have two Mega Drakes, which is crazy. Two Mega Drakes. And then we go up, we have the Mega Dolphin. I don't know if I ever showed it. I don't think I ever made a video with it, but we do have the Mega Dolphin. And there we go. That's how it looks, guys. If you guys were wondering how the Mega Dolphin looked, let's keep on going up. And I have a Mega Dingo, two Neon Dingoes, and about like 30, 32, 35 Dingoes, which is pretty cool. I think these are from the Aussie Egg. I don't know for sure. We have one Crab that's newborn and the Mega Crab. I honestly should get more mega crabs. I feel like I have a lot of crabs on my other account. So if I needed more crabs, I could just get some. Then we keep on going up and we have two choco dogs, which I absolutely love the choco dogs. I think they look amazing. Even in mega form, they remind me of the blue dog. I guess because they're just reskinned the blue dogs, but still pretty cool. Then we have the capybaras and we also have a neon one. And my favorite of all, we have the mega capybara. I don't think I've ever done a video with the Mega Capybara, so if you guys want me to trade this, let me know in the comment section if I should trade the Mega Capybara. Now, let's keep on going up, and we have these Neon Blue Dogs, and I've said it before, but the Neon Blue Dogs are amazing. One of my all-time favorite pets, or all-time favorite Neon pets, just because of the way they look. They look amazing, and I don't know. I actually prefer it over the Mega Blue Dog. The Mega Blue Dog is pretty cool just because it's a Mega Blue Dog. This was the first ever pet in Adopt Me. But again, I do prefer the Neon ones. 
Now we have the Black Panthers, and as you guys can see, I have so many Black Panthers and a lot of Neon Black Panthers. We're just gonna ride this. The Black Panther and Mega Neon looks so cool just because it's so dark, and it's like, I don't know, it just looks amazing. And let's just quickly go through them. We have a lot of Neon Bats. We have the Mega Bat, which I feel like it's another awesome pet. I love the Bats. I love the Abino Bats, just all the types of Bats. They all look amazing. And we have the Mega Woolly Mammoth, with I, which I recently got. I love the Woolly Mammoth. I love the way it runs and hops. It looks amazing. So I'm pretty happy that I got the Mega Woolly Mammoth. Now we have a lot and a lot of swans. We even have a Neon Swan. And then we have like four stacked up over here. And finally we got the Mega Swan, which I, I would say this again. The Neon Pets or Mega Pets that turn fully Neon are my all-time favorite. So, like, this is my top three Mega Neon Pets. I know, like, a lot of people don't like the Mega Swans or Swans in general, but the Mega version of this is amazing. I'm not going to lie, it's one of my favorite pets ever. All right, then we go up a little bit. We have some Snow Pumas. Not enough to make a Mega. I kind of do need a Mega Snow Puma. I'm kind of sad that I don't have one. But we do have some shrews. We have two neon shrews and enough. Okay, I was going to say enough to make another neon, but no, we only have three. We already have the mega shrew, which is like the most important part. And it has an elf hat. It looks amazing. I love my mega shrew. Going up, I did have a mega seahorse, but I think I traded it away for a video. So I don't have one anymore. I only have three left. I used like 16 to make a mega. We have a ton of rhinos. Then we have the mega rhino, which I don't remember making a video on, but I might have made a mega rhino video. Let me know in the comment sections if I have done that before. We're going to go up and I have I have a few reindeers. I actually have enough to make a mega. This one's this one is sparkle. This one is luminous and these two stacked with each other are both like um reborn so they're really not that rare but I like how they look. I don't like how they look in neon or mega. I mean, I like the neon one cuz it's just like root off the red nose reindeer but apart from that I don't think it's too special. I do have a mega rat, which is amazing. A lot of people don't like the rats, but I actually do like the rats. I think they look amazing. And let's just quickly grow up. We have the, uh, let's go up again. We have the mega pterodactyl, another cool pet. We have the mega polar bear. We have two pink eggs, which are super rare eggs, guys. Like the pink eggs are like one of the rarest eggs in Adopt Me just because they're not, there's not that many in game. A lot of them have been hatched. So if you have a pink egg, you're really lucky. Then we have the Mega Pig, and I don't really like the Mega Pig animation, guys. Like, it looks like it's barely moving, but it's still a cute pet. I like, it's still a cute pet. I still rate it. I think it's an amazing pet, anyways. We go up, and we have the Mega Narwhal, one of my favorite pets as well. I love how you can ride this. It's like you just go all over the place. Your body is like so weird. So, I do love the Mega Narwhal. I wish I had another one, but I don't. Then we have the Ox, we have the Musk Ox, the Christmas one. We have a lot of monkeys. We have like three mega monkeys. We have some hyenas, a mega hyena, which I'll show you guys now. Nothing too special about it. I think it looks pretty cool, but I don't know. A lot of people don't like it. Let's quickly go up. We have the emu. We have the elephant. We have a mega dilophosaurus. We have the mega cow, which a lot of people love. And for me, my all-time favorite is the strawberry cow. The, the Just like the neon version is the best to me. So we do have that version as well. Now we keep on going up. We have the Mega Bunny, which I recently got. I feel like I should have gotten before, but the bunny's actually a really cool pet. I love how it looks. So, yeah, it's too bad that it's a common pet that you can always get because it has no value. Then we have these blue eggs. Another rare egg is just like the pink egg, guys. Like these are super hard to get because everyone hatched theirs because everyone hatched theirs already. So there's not that many blue eggs in the game. The brown bear, I already showed you guys, but it looks amazing. I love all the bear pets just because you can ride their backs. And I feel like that's like one of the best types of pets if you can ride them from the back. All right, so we have the beavers. I don't have a mega beaver yet. I don't have a mega Australian Kelpie either. I do have a mega zombie buffalo. I don't really like how it looks. It's just like the nose that glows. It reminds me of like Rudolph. And yeah, it, it doesn't give me like any cool vibes from it. It would have been cool if like the eyes also like turned mega, but... You know what? You can't be complaining. Then we have some Yetis. We have 16 Yeti stacked. Then we have the Mega Yeti. Uh, we're getting to the Ultra Rare Pets. We're getting to the good stuff, guys. We have the Neon. We have the Mega Neon Turkey, which I don't know if you guys like this. I, I do kind of like it. I kind of wish it was all Mega, but still a pretty cool pet. We have the Mega Toucan, which I don't really like. I feel like it should have been like more Mega, maybe like the black parts of it. But it's not a bad pet either way. 
Then we have the Mega Sloth. I'm not going to show you that. The Mega Shiba Inu. We have two Mega Sabertooth, which I actually do like the Sabertooth. I know, like, they're not too special, but I do like, like, the big teeth. I love the design of the Mega Sabertooth, which is one of my favorites. So we have some Red Pandas. We have a Platypus. I'm trying to make a Mega Platypus. I've been trying to trade for some. I do have, like, six Platypuses right now. I need a lot more, but I'm going to work my way up and make it. Then we have the, we have the Mega Penguin, the Mega Panda. Nothing too rare. The Mega Llama is kind of rare, so I'm going to show you guys that. I love the Mega Llama. It's nothing too special, but the Llama in general is a really cool pet, so I love that. Then I recently got the Mega Lion from a trade, and I'm pretty happy about this because I hated that I lost mine or I traded mine away. So now that I have another Mega Lion, this is one of my favorite pets. The Lions are amazing, and having a Mega Lion makes it even better, guys. Let me know what you think of the Mega Lion. I personally love it myself, but I know a lot of you guys might not like it. Alright, let's keep on going up. We have the Mega Ladybug. We have the Koala. Then, this is like one of the rarest pets in Adopt Me, the Mega Hedgehog. Like, these are so hard to get. And even having a Mega Hedgehog is a huge flex. You can probably get some really good trades for the Mega Hedgehog if you look for the right person. These are really hard to come by, so I'm really glad that I was able to make a Mega Hedgehog. Now, we keep on going up. We have the Mega Ginger Cat. We have the Mega Ghost Bunny. And the Mega Flamingo, another rare pet. I forgot what egg the Flamingo was from, but I know they're really hard to get. So getting a Mega Flamingo is a huge flex. I'm pretty sure this is from the Safari egg. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comment section if you guys know where that's from. And this is another all-time favorite pet of mine, the Mega Dalmatian. Honestly, I've had a really hard time getting a lot of these like ultra rare Mega Pets. So I'm really glad I could get the Mega Dalmatian. I think it looks amazing. Same with the Mega Crocodile, another pet that was really hard for me to get. I had to do so many trades for these, like, pets. The Ultra Rare pets are the hardest pets to get for me, especially because they're, like, so kind of hard to get. Same with, like, the Legendary pets, so they do have a lot of value, and they're really hard to, they're really hard to, like, collect to make Mega. Now we go up, I have a Mega B. I don't have an Arctic Fox yet, but I'm working on making a Mega Arctic Fox. Then, as you guys can see, I have a lot of Albino bats. I have 10, 8, two two then like two neons then a lot of singles and then like a more neons more neons more neons even more neons even more neons and finally we have the mega albino bat which is one of my favorite pets it even has a little elf hat it's a special little albino elf so i love this it's like my favorite pet so we're gonna go up now we're finally at the legendary pets guys i'm gonna show you guys all the legendary pets i have like even starting off with the unicorns guys i have so many unicorns two mega unicorns a mega turtle so many t-rexes and i'm pretty sure i have a mega t-rex as well so many snow owls a mega snow owl so many skelly rexes and a mega skelly rex no mega shark yet we do have three safari eggs which are super rare i am pretty sure these are more rare than the blue eggs and peak eggs so Definitely the Safari eggs are super rare, and you can get the giraffe from them. Then we have the Mega Robo Dog, the Mega Queen Bee, we have some Peacocks, a Mega Peacock. We have the Mega Parrot and the Mega Owl. I'm going to show you the Mega Owl because it's my favorite. I'm stuck on the floor. But yeah, we're just going to chill like this. <laughs> I have the Mega Owl is one of my favorite pets because I like when it fully turns Mega. I've said it before. I'm going to take out the Mega Parrot because it's also rare. I don't really like the design of the Mega Parrot, but it's a Mega Parrot. Who doesn't love the Parrots? And then we have the Mega Queen Bee, which was one of my favorite pets when I first started Adopt Me. I thought the Queen Bees were amazing, so actually being able to own a Mega Queen Bee is so awesome to me. So I'm really glad I have that. Then we have the Mega King Monkey, which is another super rare pet in Adopt Me that a lot of people don't have. Like, the, you, you could only get the King Monkeys from the premium monkey boxes, and that costed Robux. And there's only like a small chance of getting like a monkey staff, and you have to get three to get one Monkey King, so... You guys can imagine how much Robux you had to use to even get one Monkey King. And getting enough for Mega King Monkey was almost impossible. So this is like one of my rarest pets. I feel like hardest to get pets ever. So I'm really happy I got a Mega King Monkey. All right, then we go up a little bit. I have the Mega Kitsune. We have the Mega Metal Ox that no one likes. No one wants to trade for these. Then we have a lot of King Bees. We have a Mega King Bee. I love the Queen Bee. So I also love the King Bees. Then we have a Mega Turtle, which is, I mean, a Kangaroo, which is also pretty cool. I love the Safari Eggs. I love the Aussie Eggs and, like, the pets from there. So, those were amazing. Then we have some more Jungle Eggs, which are pretty rare. Some Guardian Lions, a Mega Guardian Lion. I know this doesn't have much value since it's in-game forever, but I still think it's pretty cool. Then we go up a little bit more. Oh, I forgot to turn off my thing, so let me turn them off so people don't trade me. Then we have the Mega Griffin. Which I feel like is a pretty cool pet. Like, I like how the Mega Griffin looks. It looks amazing. 
But yeah, there's these are really hard to trade. No one really likes trading for them. And then we're finally getting to like some of my favorite pets. The golden, the golden pets and the diamond pets are my favorite pets. And I've been trying to collect them all into mega form. I have the mega golden unicorn. Let's grow up. I have the mega golden rat. It's not really a golden pet for reals, but it is a mega golden pet either way. Then we have the mega golden penguin, which is a pretty cool pet as well. I love the golden penguins. Then I got the mega golden ladybug, which is amazing. I've had this for a while. No, I had one before, but I traded it, but I got another one recently from another trade. So that looks amazing. And I'm going to drop that baby. I don't want a baby to ride me. <laughs> I don't know who that is. All right, let's keep on going. And we have the mega golden griffin. I said it before, I'm collecting all the mega pets, like golden and diamond. So I have the mega golden griffin. We go up. We have the mega golden dragon as well. And there we go. That looks amazing. It's one of my favorite mega golden pets. And now the moment of truth is the mega giraffe. I recently made this mega giraffe on stream. So if you guys want to check out my streams, the link to that will be in the description, guys. But I do stream sometimes, and I made this live on stream. There's a funny story about this name that only the stream knows about. So if you guys want to be included in that in the future, make sure to go check out my stream. But that is my mega Karen giraffe, and I love it. Now let's keep on going up. We have the mega frost fury, which is another cool pet. We have the mega frost dragon. Like these pets are just getting more rare and rare all the time. Then we have the Mega Evil Unicorn, which is pretty awesome. I don't really like the Evil Unicorns, but the Mega one doesn't look too bad. I know it doesn't shift into too many colors, but it's still pretty cool. Three colors is not bad. Oh, I skipped a lot of pets. So we have some dragons. We have the Mega Dragon. Not that impressive. Then we have the Mega Dodo. Then we have the Mega Diamond Unicorn, which I'm pretty happy about, guys. This is like one of the rarest pets ever. You need 16 Diamond Unicorns, and they're really hard to get. And I love like all the Diamond pets. So, I've been trying to collect those. Those are my favorite pets. Then we have the Mega Diamond Ladybug, another really cool pet. I don't think I've ever made a video on this trading yet. So, I wonder how much value the Mega Diamond Ladybug has now. I will try to trade it. I know it's in game forever, but they're really hard to get. So, I want to see what offers I can get for the Di Mega Diamond Ladybug. All right, let's go up a little bit. We have we have a lot of Griffins. I'm trying to make a Mega Griffin right now. Um, a lot of these are like newborn. Some of them are posting, but... We're working our way up there. We have the Mega Dragon, which I'm going to be trading very soon. Then I recently got another Mega Dragon. I had just traded mine away, and I quickly regretted it. So I traded a lot of Neon Crows for this. I had like 10 Neon Crows. A lot of them were gone trying to trade for this. But I feel like it was worth it, guys. I got my Mega Dragon back, and then I also got this Crow. And I've said it before, I love when like the Mega Pets fully turn Mega, like their whole body. So the Mega Crow is one of my favorite pets with the Owl, and I think the Swan as well. So... The Farmex had a lot of really cool pets, and I have the Bat Dragon, which is a cool pet. And for the most part, I have every single pet in Adopt Me. I'm trying to get every single Mega Pet in Adopt Me. Then we have the Mega Arctic Fox, I mean Arctic Reindeer, which is pretty cool. And lastly, we have the Mega Albino Monkey, which is another awesome pet, guys. But yeah, for the most part, we do have a lot of Mega Pets. I'm just going to quickly show you guys my Mega Pet Collection fully. I have them all favored it. So... This is, these are all my Mega Pets. Quickly going to go through them. You guys can see them all. Let me know which one is your favorite Mega Pet that I own. I will be choosing one person to get their own Mega Pet that subscribes right now. So if you guys haven't hit the subscribe button, make sure to smash it right now. Hit the subscribe button, guys. If you guys want your own Mega Pet in Adopt Me. And make sure to drop a like on the video, guys. It does help out a ton. So that's my whole rare Adopt Me inventory, guys. 